in the daily, I mean, I, I definitely use it for just general productivity. You know, I feel like it's a huge time saver for that. And I mean, it's kind of like using like Google as a spell checker, which I also do, but it's really helpful, right? I mean, you, do you find the same? Yeah. And, and maybe, you know, of course there's going to be a bias perspective on my end, right? Because of uh, the organization that I'm a part of and that I work with, but I use AI, you know, large language models, like the whole, if we just had to put it all in one, you know, one uh, definition daily, of course. I mean, I use it from the, I mean, we use it from our GPSs to me trying to figure out what I'm going to make for the week that involves more vegetables than what I normally cook to me using it on a regular basis at work. I mean, I use Copilot so much, it's crazy. Um, and I use it for, for reasons like just being completely transparent and honest. As a researcher in my field, I deal with a lot of different personalities from very smart individuals to individuals that just have different language than what I do. So I use Copilot for communicating, right? Especially when it comes to emails or really formal communications. I use that to make sure that in my mind, at least I'm communicating in a way that I feel the other party would understand best. Absolutely use it when it comes to writing. I even use it as my friend. And here's what I mean, like not on, not on like a weirdo type of thing, but whatever that means. But as like someone who's smart with me that I could bounce ideas off of. So when someone in my organization tells me that I need to scope something, I need to scope an idea, I can use that and say, hey, you know, give me five things that I could scope. Tell me how that relates to this project. You know, tell me, and I, you know, and of course I just use it for fun things like, hey, how can I learn how to build a rocket in 10 days? Like just silly stuff or, you know, but, you know, I use it for all of those things, but for work, especially it's been, I think I'm a better researcher, definitely on paper, sure. <laughs> um, but also as an individual because of these technologies. Oh yeah. And for those who are not sure, I mean, you know, we hear about like chat GPT, right. And, and all. can you go into a little bit about what Copilot is? Yeah. So man. Okay. So I'm, I need to be super, all right, this is the best that I can do. We should Google it for the, for the actual <laughs> definition, but the best that I could do off the top of my head is Copilot is a technology that assists you and writes along with you on your journey to create something. For example, because I'm an example type of person, if um, I'm writing a paper, Copilot is alongside me to help me figure out what my template would be like. Like it helps me sort out my idea. So if I want to write a paper about AI and how jobs will emerge from artificial intelligence, but also jobs that will, um, you know, probably go away. I can put that in the copilot and copilot can say, okay, boom, here's a, it, this is an example in Word, for example, here's a template of what it will look like. And here's a methodology and here's where you would write those things. And it just really helps. So if you're a neurodivergent or you have something, it's called like blank paper syndrome, or it, it's, I may be saying it incorrectly, but it's basically when you can't get started because you're just looking at a blank page or a blank screen, like, man, I know what I want to do, but I don't know how to get started. It really helps with those type of things. So um, that's an example that I have. And you're talking about what I do every day. So I will take the entire podcast. <laughs> so I got to be careful. You got to tell me to be quiet with this because um, it's really been a game changer for me. Um, as a researcher, I'm doing these studies regularly. So I'm seeing the benefit of people in uh, the neurodivergent or divergence community people with certain disabilities, individuals like me who I don't have a disability or anything, but maybe there's a language barrier that I assume I have. And so it helps me with navigating those things. And sure. it, it's a game changer. I, yeah. It's like it's been here forever, right? Like it's really interesting and weird how technology creeps in. And then mm -hmm. later you're like, how did I live without my cell phone? You know? <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, chat, I jumped on the chat GBT train about three years ago during, I guess, their beta testing. And I was hooked. I mean, I was hooked. Like it was, you know, yeah. and, and I mean, it, it was really obviously just, I mean, it, it, out the, it was the most incredible thing I've seen since, you know, since. AOL, I guess, you know, since the, since dial up, um, it's the it fourth was... industrial revolution. They, they say that all the time. I hear it all the time. Yeah. Like this is going to be the biggest transfer of wealth that we've ever seen. And I hear that. And maybe this is another topic that we can have, I guess it's kind of unrelated, but like, what does that mean? Like 
does that mean if I have the right idea in the right place that my, you, you know, that that I have the capability of really changing the trajectory of of finances in my my household? Like, you know, I'm always really interested um, of of what that means. But let let's stay on topic because it, it is the fourth industrial revolution. It's clearly helped me. I mean, I'm working at careers for this <laughs> for partly because of these technologies that are out here. So um, it's it's really interesting to kind of talk about later on. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I, I see, I, so I have not, I have not jumped into Copilot, which now I feel ashamed to announce that, uh, publicly, but I'm, oh, I will. Oh, I absolutely will. Um, I use, uh, you know, of course, ChatGPT, I use a lot, um, uh, Gemini, which is previously known as Bard. And then I've been jumping into Claude quite a bit because it's been getting a lot of news recently, um, with the Amazon backing. Um, but I mean, you know, it, it has a lot of power to it. But really, just like, what are your like, what are your top favorite things just to use, you know, AI for? I, I, you, you know, you're talking about communication, right? Um, and I'm sure we we both do, you know, these big research reports, big research products, right? And we're doing all sorts of analyses and thematic and narrative and emotional analyses, and we're we're coding and you know, word coding. Um, right, or maybe like, dev coding. I don't dev <laughs> okay. code, but word coding. Um, you know, and it can just be, you know, and, and moreover, you're, you know, from a UX researcher standpoint, you know, we get into the nitty gritty, right? We get into the granular data. Like, I want to know, like, I, you know, like, oh yeah, like yeah. we have got 150 of these coding words and we're doing a thematic you know, analysis and we're, and that's all for us. Right. But then when it comes down to, you know, well, how do I, how do I communicate this with executives? Right. Who. First of all, they wouldn't even understand what I'm talking about, nor do they need to, right? That's not their job. It's my job to do that and to translate it to them. Um, I find it very helpful to just plugging in this, like, you know, my thought raw, you know, often kind of, you know, uh, industry jargon, I guess, but, but, and, and just saying, Hey, I, can you help me communicate this, you know, at an executive level, or can you help uh, reduce redundancies in my writing or can you summarize this in 50 words or less, you know, um, just, I mean, those are, again, it's like using Google for spell check, um, cause I'm using this really powerful date, but, but I use that every single day. Um, and, uh, I mean, another thing, one of my favorite things, ways to use this really is, um, just, I just do voice to text in my, my, uh, Bard or chat GPT on my phone, because I often, you know, you sit there at a computer and you're going, right, well, like, I can't even think about how to formulate, like, how do I formulate a prompt? Like, how do I form, you know, and, and I, I'm very much like a, when I brainstorm, I move around a lot. I talk, I like to start with a narrative. Um, and so I just start talking, like, I just like, you know, just voice to text and just start go and just let it and just, you know, like, it's not like, you know, go for it, like, go for it, Claude, like, figure this one out for me. And, um, but it does help me organize my thoughts really well, you know, and those are just like the small kind of productivity hacks that I get. Um, I, I feel uh, it, it also allows me to manage priorities better. 